Hello guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are at Wolf Creek MX for the Brumley Gap 100 miler. Um, today we are starting off with Dad's perspective as he started this race. I figured what better way than to get his perspective on the race by actually asking him how his race went. So let's get to that interview. Alright, so tell me what you thought of the, the team race and how your race went. Well, I thought the race was good except for the downpour that happened right before we took off. And I don't ride that well and slick. I was hoping for something dry. And uh, <clears throat> anyway, I struggled a little bit. Couldn't uh, seem to stay off the ground. Had two or three wrecks right on the first lap, put us behind. And uh, it just kind of wore me out. I just didn't ride very well. Uh huh. Did you did you like the course layout? And later in the day, did it did it get a little better as it dried out for you? The course was fine. Um, it was just tricky when it was slick, and, and it did get a little bit better. But hell, I got more tired too. Uh huh. So, it, uh, I don't know. I just wish it, if it would have been dry, it would have been a better race for me. Yeah. Well, I was, I was glad to get to team up with you and have some fun doing that. As long as you had a good time from it as well. Yeah, I had a good time. I just felt like the weak link. Nah, it's all right. All right, well, appreciate your input and uh, or your take on it and get back to the video. So as previously mentioned, the track uh, conditions were very slippery. It rained a good bit before the start and a good bit into the first lap um, and a little bit into the second lap as well. So the course was very slippery. Um, this area, Abingdon, Virginia, uh, close to Tennessee, like where we race at Doe Mountain, it's very slippery. Um, something about the way the dirt is pretty dark. Um, not a lot of traction even when it's dry. So it was awfully slippery. We didn't have the best tires on. Um, I didn't have hardly any side knobs on my front tire. But, uh, you know, we're out here. We're here to have some fun. And uh, figured the one of the main competitors would be uh, Dalton and Russ Anderson there in front of us. They would uh, go on to take the win. Spoiler alert. Um, they were riding really well. Um, but, yeah, today was a lot of fun. So I wanted to highlight a couple of key points on Dad's video here today. Um, he had this crash, lost traction with both wheels, and uh, where he was at was a little bit tricky because of that log. It was hard to get his bike over the log. He had to push it, but it was also very slippery, so you couldn't really get your footing that well, and uh, the bike would just slide down the log. Um, this was also pretty much the entrance to this rock garden, which was very technical. And if you come in a little winded, it can uh, become that much more difficult. This is all still on the first lap. Yeah. 
it's really difficult to tell, but the rocks in this section oh had a bunch of big holes in between, so it was very easy to uh, fall into one and lose your balance. Uh, as what happened here. You can see it's raining. Um, that's why we don't have very much footage from his GoPro yeah. on his first couple laps. Uh, it was raining the most of it, and you couldn't really see much, um, which made these rocks even even tougher. So um, he had the, this little issue here, and uh, unfortunately well, put us a little bit far behind. I know he was bummed with with how he rode, but you know I was out there just to have fun anyway. The uh, results weren't super super important. It was just there to have some fun and race something different but uh, I know he was a little bummed about this and he had a few more issues later in the day um, but you know like I said it's okay we had fun and I think when when he was riding he was actually having a lot of fun and um, he felt like if he just could have rode um, to his potential uh, with no mistakes we would have had some some better lap times but you know that's what happens this tr track was very tricky and this was one of the toughest sections Meanwhile, this is me here waiting at the, the stop. We were doing two laps on, two laps off. Um, I didn't show any of his second lap because it was covered from the rain, but here I am waiting to go out for my turn and do my two laps. Here's my second lap, starting the lap behind Bolton Baroth, who was running the Iron Man class. He ended up taking the win in that. He was ripping almost five hours by himself. Um, but yeah, he was he was ripping. Um, I should mention that uh, it was uh, 100 miles, uh, not really a set time, um, but however fast the overall leader got to 100 miles, uh, which ended up being around five hours. I think last year was six. Um, this was the best turn on the track right here. But uh, yeah, it was a it was a lot of fun. Really technical course. Um, I ended up getting us into third place on our last lap. Um, at this point, I think I was in fifth place, fifth or sixth place, um, because he had a couple of those issues. But I was I was having fun. I actually had a flat tire on this lap, flat rear, and uh, my front had virtually no knobs at all. So um, I was being pretty patient and and cautious on the course and not trying to lean over too much and just run a, a quick pace and uh i had fun uh so i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this lap Yeah. 
Are you kidding me? Dang it.
We're in fourth. Fourth. Oh, Don't make mistakes. 